So your husband won't talk to you and you want to know how to get him to open up and have conversations with you. I'm going to discuss a few things that can possibly be keeping him from talking to you and things you can do to get him to open up. Number one, is he recovering? And so this is where it's important to know when you can expect him to talk, when it's the best situation for him to talk. Because if it's at the end of the work day and he's recovering, he's just kind of zoning out. That's what guys do. They like to just do nothing. It's how they recharge. It's taking a break from all the thinking and the performance and the having to talk, having to figure things out, dealing with the stress, and they just want to be quiet. Some people are the opposite. When they're taking a break, they want to talk a lot. Other people are just wired differently. And a lot of men are wired to where when they're taking a break, when they're done at the end of the day and their energy is low, they just don't want to talk. They just want to sit. Sometimes they're not even thinking. They are just in a state of rest. They might be absorbing. They might be listening, but they're not speaking. And so the best thing you can do is when you recognize that that might be what he's doing is just let him have it. Let him have that break because he's going to be much more likely to talk if you allow him to be quiet when he feels like being quiet. And that's one of the best things a couple can do for each other is not to force conversation when the other person's just not feeling it. Great relationships can let each other just be quiet. They can be comfortable together in the silence. There doesn't always have to be conversation. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you tips on how to get them to open up. But for starters, let's see if the mood is even right for that. So think about that. Number two, do you punish him for talking? In other words, if he tells you something that you don't want to hear, are you going to punish him? Are you going to get upset at him, yell, pout, give him the silent treatment? Because that will cause him to be much more cautious about talking to you. He may even think it's not worth it because an argument might happen or a fight if he says something that you disagree with. So do your best to focus on letting him talk even if the truth hurts, even if you don't like what he's saying. That is his reality, what he's thinking, what he's feeling. So do your best to let him talk. It doesn't mean you have to respond. It doesn't mean that you have to have a position on everything that he says or that that needs to be addressed at the moment. The most important thing is, is that he is talking to you. And if you want him to talk to you in the future, if you want that to be something he can do and wants to do, then work on not punishing him for talking to you, not punishing him for telling you what he thinks. Before I get to number three, Get my free mini course on saving a marriage. The link is in the description below. You can go to myxbackcoach.com, click on the marriage link, and you'll see free mini course. And it's a mini course on saving your marriage. It's outstanding and the price is right. Number three, if you want him to talk to you, the best place to start is going to be about something he's really interested in. If he's like a lot of guys, it's sports. So pick his team, you know who that is, Ask him about their season. Ask him about their recruiting. Ask him about their last game. If he's into music, ask him about the band. Ask him about the song that's playing on the radio or streaming or whatever. Try to talk about things he's passionate about. And that will get him used to and comfortable talking to you. And that will often lead to other topics. Maybe those that interest you more. Number four, never use his words against him. That means that when he is opening up to you, that when he is talking to you, avoid as much as possible the temptation to use those words against him in a future argument or especially out in public around other people don't ridicule him or argue with him based on words that he said and keep his secrets from everyone that includes your girlfriends your mom your sister keep his secrets safe his words should be safe in your ears and on your lips. A lot of men that I've talked to, a lot of husbands will say that they stop themselves from talking because they think if they say anything that could be used against them that it will or that it might get out to other people and so they won't tell their wives things that maybe they feel is a vulnerable truth or a vulnerable opinion that could get them talked about because a lot of husbands say that they find out that their wives gossip about them. I'm not saying that you do that, I'm just saying Watch out for that. That's something you need to be very careful about. His words should be safe. Number five, find hobbies that you both share. Stay with me on this because this is actually really important. If you go to my website, marriageradio.com, and in the search box, type in hobbies, you will find a lengthy list of hobbies that couples can do together. Print out two copies of that. Put check marks by the hobbies that interest you. You might be already doing them or you might want to try them. Ask him to do the same. Then see where you match. See which hobbies you share. If 10 is not enough, go to 20. And I am pretty sure you will find 
hobbies you share. Then start doing those things. Not only will that make you feel closer because you'll have a shared passion, you'll be building intimacy by doing these things together. You'll be having fun, so you'll be playmates and companions, and he will start talking more. That's pretty much a guarantee. Remember to get my free mini course on saving a marriage. The link is in the description below, or you can go to myexpatcoach.com and click on the marriage tab and you'll see it. Also get more information on my workshop for marriages in crisis. It's called Relationship Reignite. The link is in the description below or at myexpatcoach.com under the marriage tab. You will see a link to that as well. It's a powerful workshop. It's like the emergency room for marriages in crisis. Get more information on that because that's where we can help the most. This has been Coach Lee and as always, thank you for watching.